Well, if you get a, you okay with her, Kip? Yep. If you get a chance to see Wildlife Encounters, their show, you got to take it. They make yes, it memorable. It's true. Several chances this spring and summer to see the crew. I'm excited today to get in one, one more, more visit. visit. Kip Smith is here from Wild. What were you doing over there? Was you had a problem? I uh, just moved around. I hit my elbow. And oh, okay. Everything's okay yeah. though. Oh yeah. I'm good. Oh, what do you got there? That's a porcupine. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. This is an African. What like porcupine? The question. What is that? That's a porcupine. <laughs> but it's a special. It's a special kind it's of porcupine. An African crested porcupine. African. Mm -hmm. So we, a lot of people don't know this. You, we have porcupines here in Nebraska. Really? A lot of people don't realize yeah. that, but this is an African species, you and you can no, you can I've hold never, him if I've you want. I've never seen one. I'd love he's to got hold quills, him. but he's, they don't hurt. Yeah. How old is that's a baby? a baby, right? He's a baby. Yeah. He'll get Hi, sixty pounds. Fella. These are the largest porcupine species in the wow. world. So imagine the sixty-pound porcupine. His quills would be fourteen inches long when he's full grown. Well, and he's so, adorable. Do you want to feed him? Yeah. Yeah. But I might not be holding him <laughs> very well you can, here. You can hear. We'll put you know, know, his quills. We can put this on your lap. If well, you want they're just to. kind of. You know, they don't hurt, but they're, I just don't want to. Let me make sure. Hurt him or myself yeah. in the process. Hey, there's a myth out there that they can throw their quills. They can't throw quills. Nope, can not they? at all. Yep, actually, this guy can though. <laughs> He'll shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> he aimed right at me. Yeah. No, no they they can't throw their quills. What they do. This guy, if he gets mad, there you go, and you can just hold this up just like that, and you don't have to squeeze. He does all the work. Boy. So what he does, uh, like a big lion or leopard or hyena mm -hmm. tries to eat this guy, he sticks all those quills up, and he runs butt straight into their face. His quills get stuck in the animal's face, and yeah. the animal runs away. And uh -huh. they, they kill lions that way. They it doesn't, kill lions. It doesn't actually kill the lion from the piercing, but the animal dies from infection later on. Right. Oh. So these guys can actually be responsible for quite a few lion deaths. Oh, wow. Now these aren't an endangered species. Their numbers are actually doing really well in the wild. But the reason for that is because we have such a decline in our lions. In the 40s, there's about 400,000 estimated lions for the population. These, uh, but now we have about 20,000 African lions right. left. So huge declines. These guys are up on the upswing right now, so we actually see a lot of them. But it's causing really oh, big problems. What, what is his tongue? Yeah, he has a, what was, what was um, I just feeling that, in my hand? That was probably his teeth. Okay. He's, a, he's a rodent, <laughs> so he, he likes to chew on okay, stuff. Right. So he'll chew, he'll just check you out. Yeah, yeah, but the big problem, same thing here in Nebraska. We see farmers plant crops, uh, porcupines dig it up, they eat it. So in Africa, they don't have huge agricultural productions, but they have small farmers. Uh, these guys are going through, they're digging up farmers' crops, and farmers shoot them and try to get rid of them because, you know, it's destroying their food supply for their family. So there's a lot of conservation His going on with these guys. He looks like a mouse. He, yeah, he kind of looks a little mouse. unusual. Yeah, he's, when you kind of look front ways, he's kind of a little, kind of uglier looking. No, but he's, he's <laughs> kind of, like people you. think of a rodent as that kind of, that creepy no. mouse. But no, when he looks he's, inside, he's, 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 he's got those cute little I ears. I love his ears, yeah. Well, the porcupines around here, what kind of porcupines are those? Those are North American porcupine yeah. that we have here. And this is the African How are they different than you? Uh, him, if we look, he has those quills that kind of start mid of his back uh -huh. that go behind. Our porcupines here are kind of a little more rounder and they have quills all over. So if mm. you touch a porcupine, a North American on the back, you would get mm. quills stuck in your hand. And there's our barb and they have really fine quills. Mm -hmm. I've handled them before and I've got, you, you get quills all over your whole body. Yeah. These guys, they're not that bad. You so can pick them up. As he gets older, totally will, fine. will the quills get stronger and, oh, and more dangerous? Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Like I said, they'll get foot long, 14 inches long. Oh, so they wow. have these huge quills that stick out wow. and they stab things What are they them. made of, the quills? Keratin. Keratin. Same thing as your hair. Oh, just like hair, just yep. really hard hair. Fingernails, rhinoceros horn is made out of keratin as mm -hmm. well. All the same material. Um, so he's pretty much, you know, kind of like us. And if you cut him in half, yep, we're actually let's, hollow. Let's not do that. Oh, hey, no, uh, no, not, not the quills, him. not him, oh. the quills. We're not the working We're promoting conservation. We're promoting conservation. We're making close. Uh, what uh, do you have? You, I want to move on to the next one. Oh, yeah, we can do that. Do you want to take them away? To, we can, you can call them if you want. Yeah, like, yeah, let's bring them over here and get them away because the next there? thing you have is a snake, isn't it? Yeah. Well, here, I'll oh, you take want, this you guy. Want hold it? No, you just want to hold them because you won't want to come by you with a snake then. I don't want a snake. The last time you brought a snake on, it was crawling around the table and it made stomachs turn across the city. That was an albino corn snake. I'm this just not gonna stay I'm busy to feeding this is an albino boa constrictor. So okay. both albinos, but this guy gets a lot bigger. He might get 11 huh. feet for full size. Uh -huh. So these boas get really large. Really uh, beautiful. Typically not this color. Typically a dark mm -hmm. color to be able to blend himself in. Why is he that color then? <laughs> uh, just albino. Uh, oh, just that's a, what you a gene to begin defect. With. And the um, red eyes. I see them too. Yep, he's got those red eyes uh -huh. as well. And so what can you tell us about him that will uh, make us like him more? <laughs> um, snakes, a lot of people have fears of snakes. Yeah. Since your last day, we can put them on your neck for a photo. Yes, let's, can we do that? Because there's no seven years, Spears moment happening Seven here. years, she would not put a snake around no. her neck. Yes. Can you please it's do this? It's because you know I grew up in the country, and I had a couple of instances with snakes that I just, you know, it's, you it's had legitimate. Like a, you had a pet reptile, didn't you? A oh, yeah, I love lizard. lizards. Yeah. No, no, yeah. I love lizards. <laughs> I just don't love snakes. I had snakes eat my birds. I opened a closet door once, and I kid you not, 
not, there was snake skin stretched across the top of the hangers where oh, the snake right. had come through and had shed its skin in my closet. You open that door up as a kid and you want to tell me that. <laughs> but the constrictors don't scare me as much because they don't, I mean, they don't bite. My roommate They in just college. suffocate. Yeah, my roommate in college was scared of snakes. Yeah, you got a good story I too. I took a snake shed and I put it inside his room and uh -huh. he freaked out. <laughs> yes. You have been pranking so, people since the beginning of time. Yes, yeah. So this guy is indigenous to? Uh, South America. Uh -huh. South America, Central America, Mexico. How do you end up with an animal like this at Wildlife Encounters? This guy actually came from Colorado. It was someone's pet. They didn't want okay. him anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, these, they're really docile, Are calm snakes. Are they good pets? Uh, in, so, in Omaha, they're illegal. You can't have them. It's not a good pet. Okay. They get really big. So it's a mm -hmm. first time snake, probably not a good pet or someone yeah. with small children you probably don't want one of these around mm -hmm. but they're really docile snakes can make good pets like the corn snakes we brought yeah. those guys stay small really easy to work with a lot mm -hmm. of kids uh, love handling corn we snakes. have a couple of minutes left oh, and yeah. I want to make sure that we see the uh, last animal you yeah you, we'll put, you don't have to leave that you can take that yeah. with you take him with okay yeah, we'll put him under here good. Good we'll idea. put him in his little transport tub <laughs> there you go no that's a good idea um, so the last creature well I guess multiple you've got yeah we got these guys ah Aha! Jeez. Where are these from? Madagascar. So these are Madagascar. <laughs> these are the cockroaches. Like cockroaches. So, yeah, they're mad and you can like hold these guys. Toys. They're super easy. Uh, these right. roaches, just like the snake, actually play a really important part for us humans. Snakes eat a lot of rodents. They keep the population down. These guys are kind of decomposers. So they're going through on the rainforest floor, eating a lot of grasses, fruits, and vegetables, clearing the rainforest, creating fertilizer, allowing new trees to grow. So, so they have they're not a, dangerous at all. I mean, they, they're purpose. not. Uh, when people hear cockroaches, they think dirty. They think disgusting. They actually, that, they're actually cleaner than your cell phone uh, and that, everyone's cell phone. <laughs> Mine are Mary's. <laughs> Skip, you have several but, things on your calendar, and we started this conversation oh, talking yeah. about all these. So with the Omaha Storm Chasers, yep. how have you partnered with them? We'll be at the Omaha Storm Chasers game some of the Sundays for the family fun days. Uh -huh. We'll have some really cool animals out there, at, cockroaches, at snakes, yep, yeah. and porcupine. You can come see the animals, interact with them, ask us questions. Yeah, and then Saturday you're going to be at Jocelyn Museum. Yep, this Saturday we'll be at Jocelyn Museum. We'll have doing some actual art with some animals. So they have a group oh, of adult, adults coming in that are going to be uh, painting or uh -huh. drawing some animals. Mm -hmm. And then we'll also be doing some programs for the public. And then uh, into Kama for Easter? Yeah, Master hand, Master's Hand Candles. We'll actually be doing a program. There. They have a huge Easter egg hunt. They uh -huh. said it's the largest this side of the Mississippi, it's I think. That's it's, awesome. Yeah, it's huge. So it's all free. Parents come out. You can hunt for Easter eggs. They have a whole bunch and of And that's cool the stuff Saturday going. before Easter. Or is it, yes. do you know when that occurs? Uh, uh, look on our Saturday. Facebook page. Okay. or there. Sorry. Yeah, I think it's the week before. I, I think it's the 15th. Then. I'm really bad at yeah, dates. Unless I have my that calendar. is Saturday. Okay. Yes. And then. With the library, you've got some yeah, programming our, coming. Our summer later reading on. programs yeah. are coming up in libraries, Omaha Public Libraries, libraries all over. We bring animals, try to encourage kids to pick up a book, read about animals. Mm -hmm. And so those are free cool. to families too, so they come so on out and they on. can come check out tons of cool stuff. Yes. Especially kids are interested in animals, yeah. try to encourage them to pick up a book, read about animals. Kip, so I wish we really could have just gotten that snake around her neck one last I know. time. Are you sure it's your last time? We made time. one last one first attempt. time. One first time. One last time. No, we made one last attempt. I bet you can get Mike to do it with you. I'll do it if you do it. Oh, that's huge. I do not fall prey to that. Thank um, you, hey, Kim. thanks, Kim. <laughs> yeah, thank you. It was awesome to see you guys again. Please give my love to your, your family too. I, I will for Thank sure. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, countless ideas for.